What a WWE SmackDown Live that was last night, guys. And today, this is going to be my WWE SmackDown Live review from last night's show. So here we go. We kicked off WWE SmackDown Live with Wow Shansuke Nakamura. He comes out, talks to Renee Young about he is going to beat Ginger Mahal at WWE Hell in a Cell this Sunday and stuff. And then, of course, you know what interrupts him? The Sim Brothers, and they say, whoa, 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 wait up, and stuff like that. Your WW champion, Ginger Mahal, they do. And then, of course, you know what happened? There was a sneak attack, and also, Ginger Mahal attacked Sensei Nakamura from behind, and then the Sim Brothers were beating up Sensei Nakamura, then Nakamura was trying to fight back. On Ginger Mahal, but then the Sim Brothers and, and Ginger Mahal were beating him up and stuff, and then that was it. Now we have match number one of the night, and it is the SmackDown Women's Champion Natalia and Carmella versus Char Flair, woo, and Becky Lynch, whoa, and also this match was pretty good. I really enjoyed it, and Natalia made Sharp Flair tap down to the sharpshooter, and that was it. And now we have match number two of the night. Bobby Roode, glorious, versus Mike Canelius. And this match was pretty good, and Bobby Roode won with the glorious DDT for the one, two, three, and that was it. And then right after the match, Dolph Ziggler comes out on the microphone, and then he talks about his entrance and stuff, and also he had a drum and stuff and everything else, a big drum thing, like a marching band thing and stuff like that he was doing, and he told Bobby Roode that his entrance is horrible with the smoking and the mayors and stuff like that he was saying and everything else, and then of course, and then that was it, and then right after that, Bobby Roode starts to, he starts to, Say this to him that that about his entrance and stuff like that, and no one knows it's gonna be this Sunday. He said to him, "It is gonna be glorious." And then that was it for the man number two. Now we have the Uzos, and of course, and the New Day. It is the Uzos since day one ish. So now here we go with this, the Uzos. We're like rapping a little bit about the, for this match on Sunday a little bit. And then, of course, the New Day comes out. Then they start to talk about their their match at Hell in a Cell to the, to the Uzos and stuff. And then that was it. And now we have match number three of the night. The perfect 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Tyle Dillinger versus the Lone Wolf. Boring Corbin. Then, of course, this match was pretty good. Tyler Dillinger won with the roll-up for the one, two, three. And that was it. And then, of course, we had AJ Styles. He was talking on the ten and trying to boring Corbin and stuff like that. He was talking about the Sunday and stuff. And that was it. And then, of course... Now we have the Susan G. Komen thing, what they did. So Dana Warrior was talking about breast cancer awareness month again, and then she introduces the names and stuff, and then, of course, all the SmackDown women roster started a hug and stuff, and then that was it. And then now we have the main event of the night, but before it started, was Rusev in the ring. He started to talk about it was not going to be a... Happy Rusev Day and stuff of that and stuff like that he was saying. Then of course about this Sunday and stuff to Randy Orton and of course they have their mat. Then of course it's gonna be Aiden English Rusev on ringside versus Randy Orton. 
That's right. Randy Orton versus Eng English and also Randy Orton won with the RKO on Eng in English for the one, two, three, and that was it. Now we have the last part of the night. Here comes the money. Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon was trying to call out Kevin Owens and stuff like that to come out to the ring and stuff and stop being a coward and stuff like that, he was saying. And then, of course, Kevin Owens shows up from the railing and stuff by saying he, he is going to come down there and beat him. And stuff like that. But instead, Shane Man just ran up there and stuff. They know, know where they went to. They went to the souvenir stands. And then Kevin Owens was beating up. They were fighting and stuff like that. Shane Man and Kevin Owens kept fighting and fighting by the souvenir stand. And then Kevin Owens came back to the ring. Then he started to talk about how he liked this, this Sunday Shane Man and stuff like that. This Sunday. And then, of course, Shane Man starts to come back. From the WWE Universe, then he starts to get a beat him by Kevin Owens from the announcer's table. Then in the ring, Kevin Owens was beating him up and stuff. And then Kevin Owens does a pop-up powerbomb to Shane McMahon. The next, he does a headbutt to Shane McMahon. And then that was it. And what a WWE SmackDown Live it was last night, guys. So, guys, once again, hope you all enjoyed my WWE SmackDown Live review from last night's show. So, guys, once again... Please like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. Peace out, guys. See ya.